In this video, I'm going to show you how you can synchronize email clients among multiple computers. For instance, if you have a desktop and a laptop and you have email clients on both of them, like Outlook or whatever you're using, you can keep them up to date so that you don't have some emails on one and some emails on the other. You can have them match on each client. Every time you start it up, they'll all synchronize. You can also do this with your smartphone. So you can have all your smart devices, the email on your desktop and the email on your laptop, all the same. Have the same emails in them and all be synchronized. The best way to do this is to use Gmail because smartphones have an app that uses Gmail, keeps them in sync. And you can use Gmail to check your other email accounts and bring them all into Gmail. Now you don't have to use Gmail. You can use the same techniques on any email provider. To do this, you need to use something called IMAP. It's a function that you can use within the email client that will keep things synchronized with the server. Okay, so what we have to do is we need to go to our email client. Let's open that up. Okay, so I'm using Gmail exclusively to bring in all of my email accounts. So as you can see on the left side here, I have three different Gmail accounts. So all you have to do is set up a Gmail account, and once you have those tools you can set up your account on your email client here. This is the Windows Live mail client I'm using but you can use the same options on any client you'll be able to do it within the account option somewhere so let's go to accounts and then we're gonna set up an email account okay so this is your normal stuff you set up your email address your password Display name for your sent me messages. This is your own name or your company name. Okay, so I just set up a new email address here. So I'll use e this one in our example. So let's go back here. So our email address first. Okay, and then our password remember the password so you don't have to key it in every time otherwise you if you uncheck it you're gonna have to key it in every time it checks for email okay now Right here we have Gmail help for IMAP. So let's click on that. That brings up a website for us. It's gonna tell us about what we need to use. Okay, so first of all, it says we have to click the gear icon in the upper right and select Gmail settings. And then we need to click forward and pop IMAP and select enable IMAP. Okay, so we'll go here, over here, go to mail settings, and then we need to go to pop IMAP and then here we need to enable IMAP okay so we have enabled pop there save changes if one's enabled then they're both enabled okay so we got that much done then we need to configure our IMAP client and then you can find the one you're using in here so I'm showing you using the Windows Live, but you can find yours in here for detailed instructions of which one to use. Okay, so let's click Next and Finish. Okay, it's downloading a list of files and folders. You'll see here that it has created a new one for me. Okay, so that's how easy it is to set up a Gmail account. Now you may have to set some manually if you're using other ones, but if we look over here, let's right click on this one and do a properties, and we go over to IMAP, you'll see here that it is storing special folders on the IMAP server. Okay, so these folders are being synchronized. If we go to advanced, it's using out, 
going mail 465 and it's using incoming of 993 so it's automatically set that up for you now if it didn't set it up automatically for you then you need to do this manually in your email client you need to set these port numbers for outgoing and incoming emails and there will be an IMAP setting here so store special folders on IMAP server you want to do that okay and then that's really all you needed to do there your incoming mail and outgoing mail servers are imap.gmail.com and smt.gmail.com you also have to have your server requires authentication okay but as you see this particular client knows how to do it automatically so that's it if you set imap up on each of your email clients everything will stay in sync and if you're using the gmail app on your mobile phone or your smart device it'll also stay in sync one more thing before we go with your gmail email if we go back up to email settings here you can go into accounts and import and you can use this to import other emails so you can import mail from yahoo hotmail aol or any other server all you have to do is click here and then set it up okay so what account you want to import and then you put in your server settings okay so that's how you use IMAP to keep everything in sync